Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you another time video this week, and it's a caddis pattern again, a dry fly caddis. And somehow, I don't know how, but I've never tied this. All the caddis patterns, and I have a lot on my channel, and I never managed to tie a Palomino caddis. Very cool looking pattern, been around for a good many years now, and um, it's been catching fish all over the country. So, uh, very cool, definitely changed the color on it. I'm tying it in an olive here. Tied in a chartreuse, a tan, a gray, um, black body. We have black caddises, that would be great too. Tie it smaller. Um, mess around, have fun tying it. You know, this is a pattern that works. It's gonna be a great uh, dry fly pattern, not so much a dry dropper pattern. This isn't one that I'm gonna use as a dry dropper. This is one that I'm just gonna concentrate if there's a caddis hatch coming off or searching. You know, you can skate this one too. Um, it's more of a, hey, I want to catch a fish on a dry fly. I'm going to throw a caddis because they're all over in my area. So that's what this pattern's for. Not so much my typical dry dropper kind of pattern. Anyways, guys, have fun. Like I said, change the color, change the size, and it's a simple one to tie. So here you go. Here you're going to see a picture of the fly, then the material list to tie it. Okay, here we see the Palomino caddis and the vice. Really cool looking caddis pattern. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a fire hole 315. This is a size 14. You can definitely tie it smaller if you want. And I'm using for thread, I'm using some Semperfly classic wax thread. This is a dot and pale olive. Um, I just started using this stuff. I like it a lot. It's pretty thin and it's a little bit stronger than the Unithread or UTC thread. So I'm just gonna start that on there, wrap it back towards the bend of the hook. Next thing I'm gonna put on is a piece of ultra wire. This is small, Keller, small size in chartreuse as the Keller. And I'm just gonna wrap that back around the bend of the hook a little bit. And this is gonna be the rib on here. And we'll get that out of the way. Next thing we're gonna put on is some Pertagon body. This is from Hens. Uh, number 220, the color is medium deep green, if you look it up on our website, but the color is 220. And we're just going to stick that on on the side there, tie it down, and I'm going to wrap it back there to where I stopped my wire at. And I'm just going to make a little hot spot, or whatever you want to call it, a little flashy hot spot on the butt section here. So I'm just going to get about three or four wraps, and... I'm gonna make a, a couple wraps heavy, just so it shows up a little bit better over that olive, and then wrap it off. You can wrap it up as far as you want. I'm gonna cover it up with thread. I'm gonna go back, and I just want a butt section here of that flashiness. You can do the whole body section flash if you want to. Uh, I'm just doing the butt section. Now I'm going to smooth this out with my thread. I want a nice, even, small body here. I don't want to overpower the body with thread because the body is actually going to be the um, next piece that we're going to put on here. So now I'm going to rib this up over that Pertagon's body and then onto my thread. Just make nice, even wraps, spacing that up through there. And then once we get it up towards close to the eye there, we're gonna wrap it off. All right, next thing I'm putting on is a piece of ultra chenille. This is medium sized and olive is the Keller. And what I'm gonna do is, you can see there, I got it cut off there. I'm just gonna take and just singe the end of it off just to clean it up, make it nice and round there on the end. Then I'm gonna sit it on top and I want it to go just out past the bend of the hook, like you see there. And we're going to switch it over and tie it down. Where my tie-in point is one solid, good, solid, heavy eye length behind the eye there. And just clean that up a little bit. Now, I'm going to adjust this just a hair in my vise. 
so it lays flat a little bit better. There we go. Now, next thing I'm gonna put on is some brown CDC. I'm gonna take two CDC feathers, pinch them together, get the tips lined up so they're the same distance at the end. And then I'm just gonna pinch all my fibers together to make a nice little underwing here. I wanna stop just shy of the butt section there, you can see. And I'm gonna set that on top, switch it over in my fingers, and wrap it down. Make a couple nice wraps, get it wrapped down nice and tight there. And then again, we're gonna clean it up. Okay, next thing we're gonna put on is some deer hair. This is actually mule deer. And um, I like the natural mule deer. It's just the right size for me. It's good for making smaller caddises and it's better than whitetail. It's a little bit sturdier than whitetail. Okay, I wanna cut off a clump. You can see here, this is about pencil width size, maybe a little bit less than pen pencil width. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pinch all the tips and then I'm gonna come in with my little comb here on my Stonfo comb. And I'm just gonna comb out all the under fur like you can see here. So I'm gonna do that real quickly off the camera. And there you can see I got nice and clean here, none of the under fur left in it. Then I'm gonna put it in my hair stacker. And if you watch me do other videos, you've seen me do this before. Put it in my hair stacker, line it all up there, tap it on the base, and you can see I get all the tips lined up. So I'll just pinch my tips, pull it out of there, and then I'm gonna switch, switch hands so I can have my tips going out over the CDC feather. I wanna lay it on top so it goes the same distance as my CDC, switch hands again, and then I'm gonna make one loop just around, you can see it's just around the deer hair. And then I'm gonna put it where I want it on top. By doing that, it kind of helps it stay on top. And then what I'm gonna do is just make wraps and every wrap, I'm gonna pull some more deer hair back until I get up towards the front here. And then just wrap it off. And I will come back through a couple extra wraps and then wrap it off right behind the eye. And that's where we're gonna whip finish it, behind the eye there. So get a nice good whip finish on there. If I can, I'll put two on just to make it a little extra. And then we'll trim this off. And the last thing I wanna do is I wanna take all these hair fibers, all the butt sections, pinch them all together with my fingers. And then I like to take my scissors, set it right on the eye. So I'll come down, set it on the eye and run it kind of like with the hair and trim it off. That gives me a nice little head here. I always get a little bit extra on the far side away from me. That gives me a nice little head. If I wanna do, oops, there I missed one on the bottom. So if I wanna put a little bit of head cement or bone dry on here, I'm gonna spin it upside down. Just put a touch on the wraps on the bottom side, hit it with my light and I'm all done there. So there you go, there is the Palomino Caddis. Very easy and very cool looking pattern. Have fun tying it. Okay guys, I know you like that pattern, I know I do. Um, have fun guys, that's the main thing. Learn, learn some new techniques here. Uh, you know, I don't know if I ever showed using the chenille for the body in a fly like this before. Um, it works great, makes a nice little body. It's gonna give a little bit of movement, a little wiggle back there probably. Uh, it's just a good all around. Caddisers are all over the place here in central Pennsylvania where I'm from and they're really big out west too. So uh, have some in your box if you're making a trip out west this, this summer. Have fun tying guys. You need any of the materials like always, please head over to our shop at wholesingersflyshop.com and uh, like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Drop a comment. I like when you drop comments. I was on vacation here and I had a bunch stocked up. So I'm back from vacation now. I'll try to get back to your comments and stuff. So have fun guys. Reach out to me if you need me. Wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. That goes directly to me and uh, not the shop. So thanks for watching guys. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.